Kia ora koutou and welcome to Eclipse Second Dawn in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for 2-6 to six players, playing time is long and it's a pretty complex game. It's the dawn of a new era of space exploration and you are the leader of an interstellar civilization. Can you load up your plasma cannons, seek out new life forms and new civilizations and boldly blast them like no one has blasted before? The game lasts for 8 full rounds of play. The winner is the player with the most points and you get points from controlling regions, exploration markers, controlling monoliths, Battles, diplomacy, and the tech track. Just look out for this symbol. Dice. Combat uses dice, from weak yellow dice to strong red ones. Tile placement. You place new tiles as you discover them. Area control. Controlling tiles gives you points and resources. Player turn. Each player has three resources. Production, research, and money. The amount showing on the wheel is your income in each. When you claim a planet, you add a cube from the matching resource. You track your totals with these markers. Let's look at a player board. It shows your faction abilities, your ship layouts, your technologies, your victories and your influence markers. Influence is placed on a tile to control it, but it's also placed on actions in order to take them. For each influence you have used in a turn, you must pay the amount at the top in money or start losing control of tiles. Let's take a look at the six actions. Explore lets you discover new tiles. When the game starts, your homeworld will be placed away from the center tile. There are three stacks of tiles that can be placed based on their proximity to the core. To explore, pick an area and draw from that tile stack. Reveal it and orient it so the warp gate matches up with the area you explored from. Tiles can contain discovery tiles or enemies. Otherwise, you can claim it immediately. To place a cube on a tile, you must flip one of your colony ships. Research lets you claim an available tech tile, paying the cost here. If you have already researched techs, you may get a discount marked on your board, down to this cost here. Black techs are unique and can go in any track. Equip lets you place items you have researched onto your ship designs. Note there are limited spots and power for each ship. Build lets you spend production to place ships, monoliths, and orbital resource stations, if you have the technologies for each. Move lets you move ships up to their drive speed. The influence action lets you place and pull influence tokens and replenish colony ships. After all actions, combat occurs when ships share a region. Ships attack in speed order and roll dice for weapons. Normally you hit on a 6, but computers and shield upgrades can modify this. A ship with advanced tech can hit on low numbers doing lots of damage. After combat, claim victory markers based on what you blew up and swap them with any you have already collected. These numbers are all kept secret. Then collect income and pay influence cost and replenish the tech tray. Why would you like this game? Eclipse promised to bring an epic 4x space game to the table that crammed in a huge amount of exploration, research and conflict into a manageable playtime and it 100% delivered on that for me. It presents a streamlined and manageable 4x experience without bloat, focusing on delivering maximum gameplay with minimum waffle. Upgrading your ships is a pure joy and and you can configure them to fill different roles from a glass cannon to a flying brick. And the presentation and storage solutions are exceptionally good as well, and few games look more commanding on the table. The best thing about the game is the influence system. It represents the limitations of growing an empire extremely well. However, my main complaints revolve around the tech tray. It gets passed around like a bong at a Waikato University party. Everyone wants to check it out all the time. And the next time I play, I'm printing out a tech summary page for each player. And finally, it's still a long confrontational game, not for folks who want a short game or no direct attacks. For a longer game, try Twilight Imperium 4. And for an even tighter 4x game, try Empires of the Void 2. Eclipse Second Dawn. Well, it eclipses Twilight Imperium, gold medal game. 3 Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.